So let's test that. If we listen to the tonic and ambivalent chords here. That sounded reasonably consonant. If we listen to the full tonality chords here, they sound different. And there certainly are some more dissonant chords in there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in pentatonic parallel. Part three, selecting the scales, part two. Today we have completed updating all eight scale sheets and scores. In doing that, we checked and added the 1-1 one, one, and 2-2 two, two chords. We checked the sword order and the, what we call the low, over here, the low, middle, high spread. So everything's updated. We also had a wonderful chat with chat, especially real one. Thank you so much for your questions and interest and suggestions. And then we had check-ins from Music Man McNutt and Fez Rex. So... One of our ideas looking at this checklist over here is we could work with a 2772 scale whose average consonance is 1.7 and the 3443 scale whose average consonance is one and a quarter. So this is the biggest spread between the full scale consonances from 1.7 to 1.3. And so if we use two scales, which is what we want to do in a shadow projection idea, uh, this and the full tonality, this gives us the biggest difference in consonants. At the same time, if we were using their minor major modes, these consonances are closer together, like 0.2 apart instead of uh, uh, 0.4 apart, or half as far apart. So it's an idea. It's an idea. With those two scales, we could work with the differences and similarities, and it turns out they have lots of uh, 1, 1, and 2, 2 chords, which we use. we've been using 1, 1 chords and barely begun to use a lot of 2-2 two -two chords, and they've got both kinds. So that's an idea. So our next steps are going to be revisit the shadow projection ideas and re-listen to the scales and chords and, and test out this 2772-3443 idea. Now before we go, let's do that. This is the 2772 and the 3443. And we're just going to listen to the whole thing. So certainly these last four chords sounded pretty pleasant. And they're the full tonality. And that's supposed to be the, the set that has a high consonance. Now the next one. And there's certainly a lot more of those full tonality chords, and several of them are more dissonant. Uh, so that'll be interesting to work with. Thank you, as always, for your time and attention and your interactive chat. And we look forward to seeing you in the next stream. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>